Johannesburg, capital of English-speaking South Africa. As familiarly British as Tunbridge or Bude, except that here the winter lawns are browned by six months of gentle, unbroken sunshine. And there are others to serve Sunday lunch and help to maintain standards at a level that we may find more difficult to sustain. But the rest is familiar. There's a Rodine school for girls and a King Edward public school for boys. There are rotary dinners, scout conventions, homes for distressed cats, and charity drives for the most deserving causes. Johannesburg is a city that appears to function by all the decent British middle-class norms. Yet only 11 miles away in Soweto and four miles away in Alexandra, the blacks who enable Johannesburg to function have experienced the most brutal act of aggression in South African history since the end of the Boer War. Since June last year, 229 people have been killed, 2,599 injured in Johannesburg's black townships. And these are the figures given by the South African police. United Nations estimates are over a thousand dead. In Soweto, their graves are unmarked. Nine miles away in Boysens, a white district of Johannesburg, even a cat deserves a headstone. For me, the nightmare of Johannesburg, and indeed the whole of English-speaking South Africa to which I once belonged, is that it calls into question all the basic British values that I cherish. I didn't know we had this talent in the Anglican Church on Sunday. <laughs> you know, you know, it was wonderful. Oh, well, I'm sure the bishop was thrilled with it, too. Yeah. Hey, my Bless whole you. Family. Come and have some tea. Um, Hello. 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 Super to see you. In some illogical way, scenes like this have always seemed a protection against violence by the state against human life, the knock on the door at dawn. Come and have a cup of tea. Oh, gosh. But it happened, and only eight miles away from this church, and not to strangers, but to the very people whose labor sustains this English community. When? What do you mean goodbye? Oh, okay. When? I must go home now. Oh, I see. You're not coming for tea. One has often wondered how ordinary Germans could have claimed an innocence of events in the 1930s. Perhaps it would be more valuable to ask a similar question today, and in a community that shares our English language and our culture. These are our kith and kin, housewives, ordinary decent people, learning how to defend their British way of life by force. That's all it is. And this is a measure of the violence that erupted in Soweto, home to more than a million blacks whose daily lives are inextricably bound to the city of Johannesburg. Available now on Video On Demand.